Okay guys, today we're gonna be practicing waves down and up. Hello my beautiful subscribers, Rasa the Dancer is here and today we're going to be working on a body movement. We're going to do a particular wave that goes from down up, you relax and then you slowly come back. This technique we use in both salsa and bachata, just of course in different positions. In salsa more in afro style and in bachata more in the central part. So it doesn't matter what you dance, this is definitely something you need to practice. So if you ever wondered, looked at those waves and you wanted how do you actually do it correctly, well, today is your lucky day I am about to show you. So now, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, be so kind and do so. And now we can progress and learn this wave. All right, so we're gonna start with our legs together. That's the first important thing. So legs are together, don't worry, I'm gonna show you from many different positions, okay? So legs are together and then the important bit that the knees are soft. They're not bent yet, they're not straight, they just soft. And I have my knees together and I'm squeezing a little bit. Our hands, when you're dancing, depends whether you're dancing salsa, bachata, might be different in different positions all the time. But for now, we're gonna keep them just here like a lower part of the pockets. Not too high, we don't want those elbows to be sticking out and not too low to cover our body. So just nice and relaxed. And they kind of slide it behind us, okay? So now that we have this position, we can think about the actual technique that's gonna go up and down and then from down upwards with a little wave. Now, in general, the preparation, the most important thing is like breathing in. As I breathe in, that really big breath that goes straight into your lungs, what it does is stretches your body. And if you really stretch it good, you will feel like your chin starts coming up. Does that make sense? Try to do it yourself as well. So don't breathe like this. Be normal, <laughs> all right? Sometimes with dancing, we try to do something that is not really natural. Go with your natural flow. Fill in those lungs, and as it does, and it stretches your core, we start raising our chin. Right? Now, once you have this position and you feel like your chin is coming up, this is a perfect time to allow the chin to lead your body forward as you start arching and bending your knees. Once you start feeling uncomfortable, you will relax your head and then you're going to bring your body back and afterwards the head comes back last. Okay, so the head is leading the body, then the body comes back, and the head is the last one to come back. I'll show you from here. We have our knees together, they are soft, hands on the pockets. First, I'm breathing in. My chin now is leading my body, and as it does, I start arching. Can you see my back? I'm not doing this, I'm arching. And when it starts feeling uncomfortable, that's when I relax my head down first, and then I start straightening my knees and then the rest of my body comes up, okay? I'll show you from this position now. First, I breathe in and then my chin comes up. I start bending my knees. You see how I'm arching? When it starts getting uncomfortable, I relax my head down. Then I push from the floor. My whole body comes back and the head is the last one to come back. Okay, now a couple of other pointers. Because your hands on the pockets is super cool, because then when you're going down, you will notice the hands start going on the top of your thighs. And that can actually be a very good tool to push from to help you come back seemingly if you are struggling and that weight is a little bit too difficult. Another tip that I can give you is to make sure that you are, when you're going uh, forward with your chin, you're not actually shifting your weight forward, you're shifting your booty back. So look what I mean. Sometimes when we try to do it big, we start going like this and we're going forward. If you're going forward, you're gonna lose balance, right? So instead, when I start going forward with my chin and my upper body, I push my booty back. Can you see that? I'm now on my heels. So then there is a contrabalance. And here as well, I bring my stomach inside and I evenly distribute my body. And as it's evenly coming back, the head is the last one to come back. So those are the tools that's going to help you do that wave forward and wave back. Boom. Okay. 
Now, another little thing that we can do is exaggerate it. As we exaggerate, instead of leading from here, we actually lead a little bit from the hip and then it goes into the part that we actually practice, okay? Now, how does this work? I have the same position, soft knees, but now I'm gonna bend them just a little bit more so I could push my hip, my pelvis forward. Can you see that? Forward. So my now weight goes on my toes. On my toes, yes? Of course, motorbike is passing by all the time when I'm <laughs> doing videos, sorry guys. Now, as I'm doing my knees forward, my toes forward, and my pelvis goes forward, I'm not coming up, I stay low, but my hip goes. And then as my hip went, now I breathe in, it goes to the rest of my body, and the next part is exactly the same. Okay, so that is super important. If you want to do the more um, bigger wave that goes from the hip, you have to soften your knees a little bit lower, push your body weight forward onto your toes, push the pelvis first, and then think about that breathing part again. And the chin and the rest is the same. So it's all about practicing these techniques really slowly, one little bit at a time. And when you do so, you get to know your body, you get to know how far, depends on your flexibility, can you go. But even if you do it super small, but correct, it will still look like a wave and it still feels amazing. So you can gradually build the flexibility as you practice the correct techniques. Hopefully, that will help you to actually master this movement. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, that's useful. And if there's any other things you struggle with, well, that's what the comment section is for. Make sure you let me know because, guys, I'm here. I want to help you out as much as possible. If you need more attention, maybe private attention, please join my membership. We do online classes all the time. You can find it on my website, dancewithrasa.com. We do all kinds of workshops. We work individually on different things. So I do believe that would be a useful thing for you. Anywho, I'm going to love you and leave you. If you need more videos for body movement, I'm leaving you with these links. And then I will see you very soon. Mwah!